Do you want to take stunning but easy and effective pictures of your garden birds just like these? Then stick around and I'll show you how it's done. Hi and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in once again. Today we're going to be photographing our gorgeous garden birds, but with a twist. I know our garden birds, I mean you can hear them, I know our garden birds are beautiful anyway. Um, however, I'm just wanting to photograph them, but in a slightly different way. Now, yes, we see them on our feeders, we see them on our fences, in our hedges, um, but I'm going to create something a little bit artificial. Sorry, got a buzzard, just two buzzards flying above the uh, house right now. Um, and I've not got my camera with me at this moment in time. Um, sorry. Uh, yeah, so. I am going to be photographing them slightly uh, with an artificial scenario, uh, but you won't be able to tell. And um, I think it's a real effective method to use um, just to make our garden birds just look that just that little bit more special. Um, but anyway, I'm going to show you what we're going to use to set up with and um, we'll take it from there. It's going to take a little time, so obviously I'm not going to film the whole setup, but you are going to see me setting it up, what I'm going to be using, how I'm going to be setting it up, uh, etc. But we're going to make a fake pond, a reflection pool, whatever you want to call it. But um, as I say, in my opinion, it's quite an effective way of making our garden birds look a little bit more special than they are. So. Let's get cracking. Okay, so all we used for this, and it is a cheap setup, I used an old piece of glass from an old greenhouse door, and then I've just made a plinth for it to sit on, and um, used a bit of silicon as a bit of a bead around the edge. Yep, sprayed the underneath of it with plastic oak black paint, uh, so obviously you can't see straight through it. And um, yeah, it's, it's quite effective. Uh, I've had some really nice results uh, from it. Don't know what we'll get today, but obviously we're going to try it out and film it. There's obviously I've not filmed me doing any of this before, so don't know how it's going to be. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll we'll do it and we'll see we'll see what happens. So we've got to make sure that it's level all around, front to back, side to side because this bead of silicon that I've put round all the way round the edge is only about three or four mil high. And um, so basically I'm just using so much or so little, so very minimal amount of water for this project. Um, hence why I painted, painted or sprayed, spray painted the underside of the glass black to give it the depth that it needed. But I think we're, pretty much bang on level there, side to side, front to back, I'm happy with that, that'll do me. So now we'll start making the, uh, the stage for the birds. Okay, so I've got an assortment of stuff for the stage, um, like stones, moss, um, so yeah, it's uh, 
obviously you've got to be careful you don't break the glass but so what I'm trying to do here is conceal conceal the silicon beads so obviously I don't want that seen on the pictures Um, now I'm going to leave an area here where I can put some, some feed, something to attract the birds down to this area. Cause when I'm photographing from that end this way toward the bird, then, uh, the bird's going to be exactly where I want it to be. So, and then obviously, as I say, bits of dried moss and stuff I can can use fresh for want I've got plenty of fresh all around the garden um, but yeah I can just soak all this with the uh, water and uh, it'll look um, just rehydrate it basically and it'll look um, great not looking uh, all that great at the moment but it's not an issue it's not an issue once I've soaked it with water, it'll be all good. Okay, so one thing I always like to try and do is, obviously, I'm framing everything up as I'm setting it up as well to make sure that I've got everything where I want it to be. So I'm not going to have to do any moving because once I'm all set up, I want I need to be as still as possible. But today, because I am so close, I'm actually going to put the hide up. Um, I'm going to put my uh, bird blind up because I am so close. Um, so, yeah, normally I'd be a bit further back. I wouldn't bother with the blind. Uh, there's just no need. But today I want to be um, as close as possible without disturbing the birds. And uh, so obviously I need to be concealed um, but yeah so yeah I'm just um, just making sure everything's framed up okay and I'm just gonna make sure my horizon and everything everything is set up right and then I'll I'll, I'll take a test shot um, so I just want to make sure that it all looks good okay Yeah, this, that's uh, looking good to me. I'm not going to need to make any more adjustments, so we'll just leave it there for that. Now I'll just got to concentrate back on the, um, the uh, whatever you want to call it, the pond, the reflection pool, the feeding station. Get that finished, get the blind up, and we'll do some photography. So I'll go back to the camera in a second and just make sure that it's looking all right. I'm hiding everything that needs to be hidden. Okay, sorry folks, but me, uh, my microphone's just run out, so um, I'm having to use the phone microphone. So please excuse the, um, the sound quality for a little bit. But anyway, let's get this filled with water. So there we have it, that's it, it's ready now, uh, just put some feed there for the birds and uh, away we go.
Okay, so time to settle down now. Wait for the birds to come. We start snapping away. I'll give it half an hour or so uh, just to see what birds we, we will get come down here. The, nine times out of ten, it's probably going to be either the coal tits, blue tits, great tits. You might get the robin. I doubt the nuthatch hatch will come down because nuthatch hatch is a very, very nervous bird. Um, but we'll see. We don't know. But yeah, I'm all set up. Um, one thing to remember, though, is when you're uh, trying to do a setup like this, rather than being right in line with, right level with the water, um, I tend to find that it's best to have a bit of an angle. So you're shooting, almost shooting down at, at the water or at the subject. Um, and I found it's... it's it's probably about 30 degrees so you, you probably see my cap the lens it's pointing down quite a bit um, but that's just so that I'm going to be getting plenty of ref reflection in the water as, as well as the subject as well um, so yeah bear that in mind other than that just be patient and then when anything comes along just snap away all right so let's crack on We'll see what we're going to get. It's nice when they're coming down, so I'd say. set up for about an hour and a half now, maybe two hours, just to give them a chance to get used to the setup basically, because it's all new. Photos of birds in branches or hedges or in trees or whatever, and fences. It's just nice to just get something different. And as I said all along earlier on in the video, this is so cheap to do, and uh, in my opinion, very effective. But um, yeah, it can be a lot of fun as well. That was a nice blue tip. So yeah, as I was saying, I want birds to go into a specific area. Um, so be scaring the birds or disturbing them by moving a big camera and big lens around all over the place. So I want them to just go exactly where I want them to go and then just snap away. And then hopefully we'll get some really good results. thing to bear in mind as well is you want to try to do something like this when it's when it's definitely not windy because you really don't want you really don't want ripples on the water you want that water like a sheet of glass pardon the pun because I've got to use that but you want you want that water as still as can be. A light breeze is fine, but um, yeah, you want you want it to be nice and calm. Believe me, I've tried it on windy days, and it 
pictures because it just didn't look, look that great. It's not what I was after. Um, so yeah, still calm days. Perfect. a wrap for today I think. Um, the action is uh, quietened down considerably now. But I hope that you found this interesting, even funny, helpful, whatever, um, then that's great. Um, if you've got any comments or questions of what I've done here, the setup, settings, etc, stick them in the comments down below and I will answer them happily, um, but yeah, if you've enjoyed this, then brilliant, um, if you haven't yet subscribed, then I would really appreciate it if you did, it would really help my channel grow, um, and yeah, and if you hit the bell button thing, um, that will also notify you if I post any new videos we'll see you on the next video whatever that may be I don't know but thanks for watching look after yourselves take care